Okay, over the past few years I've been fishing a lot of stonefly patterns. Uh, the golden stone is one of my favorite nymphs to fish. And, uh, you know, I've got a lot of different patterns that I fish, like the masked marauder. If you haven't seen our video on that, definitely check it out. But to tie a more simple golden stone, I think the hare's ear is about as good as it gets. So recently we've gotten these uh, Coq de Leon hen saddle feathers from Whiting. Uh, very inexpensive for what you get and we've been using them in, in everything from still water flies to hare's ears to um, nymphs, all, all the different types of flies you can tie with, with these feathers. So anyway, you're going to see how these feathers work really well as the tail and the legs of this fly. Uh, in the vise I've got a an Allen W501. It's a 1XL nymph hook. The cool thing about this hook is it's got a really big eye, so uh, really easy to thread. And then I've got just a 3.2 millimeter copper tungsten bead on it. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some 015 uh, lead wire and just wrap that on. Uh, do 10 to 15 wraps and just break it off. And then I'm just going to jam that lead up into the bead and that will set it in place. Alright, the thread I'm going to be using I've, I've really started liking. It's from Montana Fly. It's their premium thread and I think this thread is really good because it, it has the perfect balance between the uni thread which is kind of a, a, a core thread that's interwoven and the UTC thread which is a flat thread and re really shiny. As you can see, this thread has a lot of sheen to it, but it is also a really super strong thread. But anyway, you'll see that more and more as we, we do some videos. This particular feather, the color is called Speckled Copper Olive, and it's, it's an awesome, awesome color. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select some of these feathers like this and pull those all off the stem and if I do it that way then the the tip should all be lined up but anyway that's going to be my tail a uh, common mistake people make when they're tying nymphs and hares is they tie the tail way too long uh, the tail should be a little bit shorter than the body of the fly so I'm going to tie that in I like the way that tail sits so now I'm just going to wrap that tail up to where the lead starts and trim it off all right. Just added some small UTC wire in amber color, and that's what's going to create the ribbing for us. Now, one way to kick up a hair's ear is to run some some flash all the way up the body and then over the wing case as well. One of my favorite flash uh, materials is the UTC Mirage Tinsel in Opal and it's got a lot of flash uh, more than just normal crystal flash or, or things like that so I'm going to run this back to the tail so that it's on top of the hook shank okay so the body that I'm going to put on this is going to be made out of Arizona Mega Synthetic Dubbing in hare's ear color there's a hare's ear and a dark hare's ear for the, the abdomen or the body, I use the, the hair's ear, and for the thorax, I use the dark. And one trick on hair's ears is I always dub a little bit further forward than I know the the body's going to go because when you pull the wing case over when you put that on if if it's coming from a very thin portion like where the lead is you'll have a gap right where the wing case starts and it won't look as good so anyway once you're once you're done with this part I'm gonna take the uh, Mirage and I'm gonna pull that over the top tie that down with a few wraps and then I'm just just going to uh, rib that with my wire.
Now, when I did that, because I'm right-handed and I'm pushing it away from me, um, it moved the, the tinsel a little bit away, so I can just take that whole body and rotate it back just slightly to get it right down the middle. I mean, the fish aren't going to care, but that's something I do every now and again. Okay, now I'm going to take this this tinsel. You could you could just leave it on. Sometimes it's hard to wrap the wire if you leave it on, but we're going to reattach it because that's going to be over the top of of the wing case. You see, now I'm going a little bit further back into the body. Um, now instead of using uh, thin skin, which we use a lot, I'm going to use some Montana Fly Skinny Skin for the wing case. Make sure that's nice and centered. Alright, now it's time to dub the thorax. Alright, I've got the dark hairs here. And the thorax should be just slightly thicker than the body. So I'm just going to add a little bit more dubbing. Now you see right here, I could tie my legs in right here, but if I if I tied them in into that that gap, they would kind of stick out of the fly at a 90 degree angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of dubbing right before the bead, and I'm going to actually work my thread a little bit back over that dubbing, and that's where I'm going to tie my legs in. So same technique as we use for the tail. You can use about, I don't know, roughly 10 fibers. And I'm going to make those go back just maybe to about the midpoint of the body, just past the thorax. So I'm going to measure those. I'm going to pinch those with my left hand and then tie those in right into that dubbing. And they're wanting to push out on me. I'll show you how you can get those to lay down a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now to push those legs back a little bit, I'm going to add a little bit more dubbing over my thread wraps. So now I've got a nice little angle on my legs. All right, now there, all there is left is to pull the, the wing case over. So I, I tie the, the wing case in in two different steps. So I'm going to pull the skinny skin over, and I found that it's a little bit more stretchy than the thin skin. And I'm going to start on this edge, kind of work my way over, and then cut that off. Then I'm going to take my Mirage tinsel, and I'm going to pull that over, and tie that in right over those thread wraps, and then pull it back one. And whip finish. So we're looking good. You can fish it just like this. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some hydro on the top, some clear cure goo. There we go.